and now comes to the chair of the select committee, Stephen Timms. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I, I welcome this uh, important report, and thank you, Mr. Speaker, for granting this urgent question. Can the minister tell us what the position is about the payment of interest in cases uh, such as this? In this particular report, the Ombudsman has found that the failing had a, quote, severe effect on her existing mental and physical health problems. No doubt the same would have been true for quite a number of the yeah, other yeah. 118,000 people affected. So will the Department proactively uh, work out who should be getting compensation? And one of the recommendations here is that the Department should report to the Select Committee on its progress in considering this report and the decisions that it makes about how to remedy its failings. Will the Department accept that particular uh, recommendation and report to the Committee? And if so, when can we expect that to happen? Minister. In terms of uh, re reporting uh, back, obviously the primary responsibility is to respond to this particular report, so we will do that. Uh, but no doubt uh, the Secretary of State and I will take note of the point that he's made, the Honourable uh, Right Honourable Member's made, and uh, will make as appropriate responses to his committee. Um, those people who, um, of the 118,000, have received the arrears, and as I've set out previously in answer to the opposition, the, the opposition spokes, uh, spokesman, um, we have... Um, uh, sorry, the Opposition Secretary of State, so apologies. I, I don't want to understate his importance. Uh, uh, there are mechanisms for those who feel they've got grounds for further compensation to uh, get in touch with the department to explore that further. 